on YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, clearly Kyle is not with me today. He is back in Virginia working extra hard to do well this season. I know you guys love seeing him in the videos, but he's just not here, so you get what you get. Sorry. Uh, today I'm doing kind of like a wedding q and I asked you on Instagram if you'd rather have a wedding Q&A or how I edit my pictures and wedding Q&A won. I'm still going to do a video on how I edit my pictures later on in the future, but today I'm going to do a wedding Q&A. Some people also ask questions that weren't really related to the wedding, but were just kind of, I don't know. Kyle and I related and I'll try to answer some of those too. So I guess I'll just start answering all the questions. Um, there were a ton, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to answer all of them, but a lot of them kind of ask the same overall thing. So hopefully by answering someone else's questions, I'll answer yours and so on and so forth. But I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long because no one wants to watch a video. It's like, that long. I don't want to watch video that long, but I'm going to try to get to everyone's questions. So I have my phone and I'm just going to pull up all the questions on Instagram. Um, will Kyle cry at the wedding? He better cry at the wedding. If he doesn't cry, I'm going to walk back down the aisle and then come back again and we'll redo it. We'll retry it. He better cry at the wedding because one, I'm going to look beautiful. So he just like I'm gonna look like just an angel sent from heaven. So if he doesn't cry, I'm gonna be really devastated. But also I really do think he will cry because Kyle is such a sweet guy. And I don't know if people know that about him or not. People who do know Kyle and I's relationship know that he is the more romantic one in the relationship. Like he is so emotional and is constantly doing just the sweetest things for me. We had this conversation in his apartment with all of his friends because Kyle and I were supposed to just like go to McDonald's or something to get something to eat and he just whipped the car around and we ended up going to the melting pot for dinner because he just decided he wanted to do something sweet for me and his friends asked like, oh, who's the more romantic one in the relationship? And then I just felt like such a bad girlfriend because Kyle is constantly just doing the sweetest things for me all the time, like whether it's just sending me a sweet good morning message or sending me flowers in the mail like he's always taking the time to make sure that I know that he loves me and he's thinking of me but anyways he's definitely going to cry just because he's so emotional but in, not in like a bad way in a good way like I know he loves me so 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 much because he tells me every day and shows me every day so I really do think he'll cry and if he doesn't we're just gonna do the wedding over again because he needs to cry. He just needs to. Well, the fact that you will be in the 2019 NCAA National Championships have any effect on your wedding plans? Uh, no, it won't because we aren't getting married during basketball season, so that won't have any effect on that. Uh, the next question is, where do you want to go on your honeymoon? Um, this will probably kind of answer a bunch of other questions because I know there's a lot of questions about like where Kyle and I are getting married, whether we're getting married in Charlottesville, whether we're getting married in Indiana, um, just kind of about location. Kyle and I are not doing a traditional wedding. We are actually going to Hawaii and we're sort of eloping. <laughs> so uh, we're already gonna be in Hawaii, so we're gonna be honeymooning in Hawaii, um, specifically in Kauai, because it's very adventurous and has a bunch of hikes you can do and there's just so much adventuring you can do and outdoorsy things you can do um but yeah we are getting married in hawaii so there's that in our location not charlottesville not indiana so people want to pop in sorry you won't be able to because we're not getting married in any of those locations we're going somewhere very far away are you guys planning on having a big or small wedding okay let's see how i want to answer this our wedding is going to be very small like I said we're practically eloping and I the reason we decided to do this was because Kyle and I have very little like quality time together where it's genuinely just about 
Kyle and myself and I love that Kyle loves that we love how you know we have so much family and so many people outside of family who support us and love us so when he comes home he's only home for like five weeks out of the entire year there's so many people who want to see him and spend time with him so you know Kyle and I, it does look like we're together a lot, but really when we're together, we're going to see other people, going to spend time with other people. So we don't really have those like intimate quality moments together. Like even when we got engaged, that was something we kind of shared with everyone that we love so quickly. Like that wasn't something that was just shared between us two. So we decided we didn't want to have a big wedding with 500 people. Not only would it cost an insane amount of money, like it would cost like fifty to sixty thousand dollars for us to have that wedding we just felt like it kind of really wasn't about us when it got to that big of a number because we would have spent our entire wedding just kind of entertaining people and because when people come to a wedding they want to see the bride and groom they want to say hi they want to have a conversation like that's what I would expect going to a wedding I would want to see the bride and groom and talk to them and when there's 500 people we would have spent our entire night talking to people rather than like enjoying our wedding day together if that makes sense so we just decided we wanted something super small super intimate where it could genuinely just be about Kyle and I and our love for each other so that's why we're going to Hawaii only 25 people actually really less than that are going to be there it's really just like our immediate families and a few friends and that's really it and I guess you know I think there's two types of girls there's the girls who you know dream about their wedding day their entire life which is awesome and then there's the girls who like could care less and I was just always one of those girls who could care less about their wedding day and that's for just a bunch of different reasons I don't really know why I just was never really excited about getting married that was just not what I was excited about I was excited to like go to college get a job be successful I was very like achievement driven and not to say like you can't be excited about getting married and be excited about that you can totally do both but I used to literally tell my mom that I was never getting married like I told her she would have to depend on my brother for grandchildren because I was never getting married it just wasn't something I like dreamed about so when it came to having a wedding with 500 people that thought just really stressed me out it really overwhelmed me and addition like originally Kyle and I really were trying to plan a wedding with that many people and I just felt like we were planning a day for other people, not for us. Like I was trying to plan this huge event for people to come to and enjoy for them, not a day for Kyle and I. So that's why we just decided to shrink it down to just our immediate family and a few friends and just go somewhere beautiful. Because I just feel like if you're going to spend a ton of money on a wedding, like why not make it amazing so we're gonna go to Hawaii somewhere we both have never been we love to travel so we're gonna go there and it's just gonna be super small super intimate genuinely just about us and I'm super excited for it so yeah small wedding oh this person asked can I be invited sorry but no cuz a lot of people in our families are not being invited so I think they would be angry if we just invited um, you and then this asks, do I have certain colors picked um, not really because Kyle and I are getting married on a bluff that overlooks the ocean so nature kind of does a lot of the work for me so when it comes to I guess like my bouquet or maybe I don't know like I don't need very many decorations but I do like the really light um, kind of like blush pink and like peachy colors so if I do need to use colors when it comes to my bouquet or any other decorations it'd probably be like the really light sort of blush pale pink and like peachy colors if that makes sense I don't know luckily nature does a lot of the work for me so I don't really need to have like a set color scheme I don't think when it comes to decorations um, this asks about honeymoon plans we are honeymooning again in Kauai and the fourth question asked, do you have a wedding Pinterest board? Yes, I have several wedding Pinterest board because originally Kyle and I were saying, all right, we're just gonna have a wedding here for everyone to come to. We were being very optimistic about it and then we realized how much a wedding with 500 people would cost and just 
how overwhelming and stressful having a wedding would be. So I have like three different Pinterest boards. I have one Pinterest board for a wedding in Chicago. I have another Pinterest board for a wedding here in Indy. And then I have my Pinterest board for a wedding in Hawaii. So I can link all those Pinterest boards down below if you guys want to look at them. I have a lot. So tons of Pinterest boards. I love Pinterest. Is Kyle going to know what the dress looks like um, until the wedding or does he know now? Oh, it's just asking like, is he gonna know what my dress looks like or does he have to wait until the wedding? Kyle is gonna have absolutely no idea what my dress looks like until the day we get married and he wants it that way honestly he wants no detail like details at all he wants to know absolutely nothing he just wants to be surprised on the day which i really like because if he would beg me to tell him i would because that's just how i am so i like that he doesn't want to know i kind of want to show him because i'm super excited so it's probably better that he's like no don't show me i don't want to see it because if he wanted to see it, I would show him because I'm just super excited about it. This isn't really about my wedding, but it just asks like, what is the best kind of food to have at a wedding? Um, I don't know. I, I think chicken, salad, fish, offer some like vegan, vegetarian options. I feel like it would be good. I mean, I don't know. I'm not doing a traditional wedding, so I can't help you on that sorry <laughs> um this asks what cut is my wedding dress going to be i don't want to share that on camera because i don't want to <laughs> this asks when is the wedding date and where are you having it kyle and i are getting married next july and i know a lot of people think that is so soon and that one we're too young to like he's a junior, I'm a junior in college, and three were absolutely insane for doing that. And a lot of that is just from, you know, people making assumptions that they, they don't know us, they don't know anything about our lives or what we have going on. So one, yes, we are young, but you know, some people are just called to marry young and Kyle and I did not just decide one day, like, oh, we wanna get married. <laughs> like, we thought about it, you know, we, logistically thought about our future and what's going to go into that and what it's going to look like we made plans we didn't just do it on a whim um secondly i'm on pace to graduate a year early and so is kyle so we both will be done with school by then and thirdly i know to some people it seems so crazy that we are getting married so young but everyone has their own timing for things some people don't get married until they're 40 some people don't even have kids until they're 40 but you know, some kids get married and have kids when they're 19. You know, everyone has their own time for things. And this is the timeline that Kyle and I are on. And I'm thrilled to be marrying young. Be marrying young. Like, I consider myself so blessed that I'm lucky enough to find the person I want to spend the rest of my life with so young. Because that's just more time I get to spend with him while I'm on this earth and marrying young when you're called to do it is something so beautiful and so awesome so we're really excited so next july so really honestly this time next july kyle and i will be married and i'm excited <laughs> so this asks this isn't really a question it just says that we should live stream it when it happens um I'm not gonna do that because again, I just want it to be a real intimate moment between Kyle and I, where it genuinely is just, I don't know, the special moment just between us and the few family and friends that are there. But we do have really amazing videographers who are filming our wedding and that wedding video will be shared with everyone. So it'll be like you guys were there even if you weren't. And I will link those videographers down below. They're called the Film Poets. They're absolutely amazing. This person asked, how cool will your wedding be? I think my wedding is going to be pretty freaking cool because it's my wedding. I mean, I don't know. I'm cool. And it's going to be in Hawaii. It's going to be on a bluff overlooking the ocean. It's going to be, I don't know, tropical and sunny giving you like moana just mm. I, I mean what what's cooler than hawaii overlooking the ocean my wedding's gonna be cool i guess next questions that i'm answering really aren't 
about like our wedding are kind of just more about Kyle and I. So this person wants to know how soon do you see yourself starting a family? Um, not anytime soon. I mean, we're only 20 and I really want to enjoy the first part of our marriage. Plus, um, you know, I'm thinking about going back to graduate school and you know, Kyle has a lot that he wants to pursue in his career as well. So probably not until like our late twenties, early thirties. So way down the line, like I'm just worried about being married. So the final question I'm gonna ask is also not really wedding related, but this person wants to know when Kyle and I met. Um, Kyle and I actually met in the eighth grade. We were babies. <laughs> I think we were like, how old are you when you're in the eighth grade? Like 12, 13? Oh my God, we were babies. We were so young. We met at my brother's basketball game. Um, yeah, that's an even, that's another story for another time because the story of Kyle and I's relationship is so long. So I feel like that's another story. If you guys want to know that story, then I guess just, comment down below and Kyle and I will relive that story for you because you know those teenage years man trying times yeah thank you so much for watching my channel and for all of your guys' support Kyle will be in the next video we are going to our best friend's wedding and we are so excited so stay tuned for our next video together thank you guys so much for watching bye